All right, we're back in the eastern forest. Um, we are not going to refight Omega. I'm only here because I downloaded a new version of Tahoe Fantasy, and getting to the exit now unlocks this option. Skip Eastern Forest. Thank you. Thank you. So, now that I've gone through it once, I am able to skip it. Um, I might have to go back through it later anyway, but we'll see. In the meantime, I'm now headed to Haku Gyokuro. I think I said it right that time. Damn. I meant to mess it up. Okay, let's do what I did last time. Let's remove Natori from my party. Put Yamu in it. Yamu, um, slash all, that's fine. Um, mm, crit, okay. Uh, MP Sap is so unattractive. This one just gives death immunity, that's fine. That's all I really need. No, because I want to give her the other thing that gives death immunity. I guess we'll do the Scarlet Armor. And then... What's my best accessory here? Is it actually the Quartz Charm? I guess it is. I guess I don't have anyone better to put the Quartz Charm on right now. Oh, look at that, I just skipped the dungeon. That's beautiful. Okay, we've already seen this scene, so... <laughs> she got knocked out again, or is playing dead again, one of the two. Uh, which of these people is your pupil, exactly? Is it Yamu? Did you train Yamu in the art of ghost sorting? Why is she doing just such a bad job of intentionally taunting Yamu into a fight? Um, I guess I'll try out some of these skills, like, since this battle appears to be unwinnable. I'm just gonna see what Yamu's different stances are. Let's try the... Just punch yourself into an attack stance, that's fine. Okay, so she gets a bunch of new skills. These are the ones she had already. And then... Four times damage against plants. A thousand damage into Dispel, that's nice. Four times damage against gods? Is she a plant? Let's try it. She's not a plant. Is she a god? Uh, that doesn't even have an animation, apparently. This battle is 
definitely supposed to be lost, so I'm not trying too hard here. Um, just, let's, let's instant death you. That can't go wrong. Yeah, that's a lot better than wasting all of my items, I think. Okay, well, five flashes and then they don't really fade out. They just sort of aren't there anymore after blinking out of existence in one frame. Like, there's a built-in option in RPG Maker to fade a sprite out gradually. It's not like it's hard to do. Just as he said, wait, there are male characters in this game? She was faking again. I frickin' knew it. Four of us. Who else is here? It is a male character. Whoa. I don't want anything in this game escaping to the outside world. That would be very bad. Um, Pandora blowing up Gensokyo is bad enough. We don't need her blowing up New York. Pestilence. That's one of the fragments, right? Is that the first time we've heard that one's name? I don't know who those people really are. So, I thought I was getting teleported to like a nether dimension or something. Um, but that was just sort of like they teleported me back out of the dungeon? How did Momiji get in my party? Momiji, get out of here. You're not a good character. Well... I was all excited to fight a battle with Yaomu and see how good she had become, but there just wasn't one. It was fake. Faked me out. Oh well. Onward to... Where am I going next? Um, there was something in Manet's village. I think there was something here? No, there wasn't. Okay. There was something in... What's the place called down here? Miaorin Temple? Oh, this is the wrong way. Oh no, here we go. Here we are in Mayuhiga. She decided to go on her own somewhere. Isn't she with Cerno? Like, she joined Cerno's Cabal of Summons, right? Okay, well, Chen is like six years old or something, so we should probably stop her from getting involved. I'll gladly take a wind ring, but that's kind of a weird thing to give me. 
works just nullify wind, right? And so, like, I'm getting these elemental rings, but... Like, that's not a reward or anything, it's just sort of a thing you're randomly giving me in an unrelated cutscene? Huh. So am I just supposed to look around Mayohiga for Chen? I'm not totally sure. You sell mortal souls? Well, that's nice. Should I get some of these accessories? This one seems useful, right? Because that's a bunch of different status effects all at once. But I need my money. Hmm. I'll get this, and I will get another mortal soul. Because those are... Instant death immunity is just way too important to screw around with. But yeah, I'll rest. I can rest for free here? I didn't know that. I'd have been coming here instead of staying at the inn. Or going into the winter forest every time. I'm surprised she doesn't charge me. Shouldn't she charge me? Like, is there a reason she doesn't charge 500 yen to sleep here? Is there just nothing here? Is Chen, like, not even in Mayohiga? I don't think she's here. Maybe I misunderstood that cutscene. It... oh well. Can't be that important. It's just Chen. If she gets herself killed, then I'll lose a summon with a character I'm not using. But... I don't really think that's gonna happen. Oh, we've got more and more Xenomics every day. That town there is just nothing. Like, that isn't in the game. There, there's nothing there. If you try to go in, it says, can't access to, to not existing. Oh, that's just a dead end. The world map has a lot of empty space. Like, look at my screenshot right now. This is what I should just set as the thumbnail to one of my episodes here, because this is just like... That's not something that should ever be on the screen at any point in the game. Stuff should be close enough together that you can see one place from the next nearest place. Maybe Bjorkren should come take a look. Okay. Subtle. Probably a side quest. I feel like a lot of these things on the world map right now are side quests. I feel kind of bad taking Bjorkren with me because she has this 1300 damage holy attack that I don't think I was supposed to have been able to buy yet. But. If you're going to force her into my party, then I'm certainly going to take advantage of it. Okay, into Miaurin Temple. 
Meow, meow, meow. Oh, it's Nui. She's not disguised as the donation box, she's just standing here. Does Byakuin live here or something? Who's... Who are the others and why would they be looking for her? Like, is she missing? She told them all where she was going, right? Do I know that passage to the ship? What ship? I haven't even seen a ship in this game at any point. Do you mean the ferry at the Road of Reconsideration? Because that was not a ship. Like, it... It wasn't even visible. Like, it was never even on screen. But it was also supposed to just be like a little tiny canoe. So, I guess we're talking about some other ship um, that's just never been introduced before now, but you didn't bother introducing it or telling me what ship I was supposed to know about before telling me that, by the way, the ship's broken. Um, I don't even know who you're talking about. Umbrella Ghost. Oh, I know who you mean. Her umbrella has eyeballs on it, right? I've seen her in other Taohao games. What ship? So, this is like a side quest that I'm not supposed to do yet, or... Like, can I do it now? Because they're telling me, don't do it now. So, I feel like it's if I go up here now, then it's just going to tell me... Like, you can't go in? But if that's the case, then why is the scene happening now? You should have the scene when the side quest becomes available. And if it's available now, then you shouldn't tell me, let's leave and not do it. They should act like it's at least semi-important to do. Well, that was very weird. I'm gonna go back in here and see if I can actually do something. Well, there's just sort of nothing in here. I came here earlier in the game and it was like this. Uh, oh. Can't walk north here, but I can walk north right here. That's a little weird. Anything in the clock? No. Maybe I got it already. Steal your slippers. Oh. Oh well. Nothing in here, I guess. Up here? Why is there just nothing here? Why do you have this path going up here, but it doesn't lead to anything? And shouldn't it at least take me back to the world map? Or if it goes somewhere else that's available later, then... Like, shouldn't there be a gate blocking it off right now? Instead of just the teleporter doesn't work? So I still have no idea what that scene was about. Like, there's definitely no ship here. It's landlocked. It's adjacent to a forest. I don't know why Byakuren was forced into my party there. There was no combat, and... Um, 
Like, she could have just shown up in that cutscene. The other people who were in that cutscene just sort of showed up on their own. So... I wouldn't mind if these places where I'm uh, going for little short things had like one battle where I was forced to use a character I hadn't been using. That wouldn't bother me at all. It would be kind of nice, actually. A um, nice change of pace. Um, I also don't mind that there's just nothing happening except plot. That really doesn't bother me either. The only thing that's really bothering me is that I have to change my party and then nothing happens. And that's not a big deal, it's just a little disappointing.